So is NEO the apple of EVs? In many ways, yes. Both companies have built ecosystems that go far beyond their core product. They've created communities, fostered innovation, and delivered exceptional user experiences. If you wanna be a part of the conversation before it happens here on YouTube, click that link in the description to join the free Courtside Financial Discord. What's going on everyone? My name's Obi and welcome back to Courtside Financial, the podcast where we talk about business and technology. In today's episode, we're asking a provocative question. Is NEO the Apple of EVs? That's right, we're seeing how the electric Chinese electric vehicle manufacturer NEO plans to build a fascinating ecosystem and how it stacks up against one of the world's biggest tech giants, Apple. So it's going to be a super interesting episode. Buckle up because you're in for a ride. If you're new to this channel, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. We're trying to get to 10K subscribers before the year is over. If you could help us out with that, we'd be super um, grateful. Make sure you click the notification bell icon. Leave a comment down below. All your engagement really does go a long way in helping out the channel. And so without further ado, let's get into the episode. As a NEO investor, I have the privilege of watching this company grow from a uh, startup to trying to become a formidable player in the EV industry. What's truly captivating about NEO is that how they've kept crafted an ecosystem. It's not just about selling cars, but really about creating a lifestyle and community around the brand as well. Sound familiar? Apple mastered this strategy, and it seems like NEO's following in its path. Let's dive into some of these pillars of NEO's business, and we'll talk through it making comparisons to Apple. First up, Neo has a relentless focus on R&D. Neo's filed hundreds of patents in the last five years, covering everything from communication systems to safety features. This isn't just about innovation for the sake of it, it's about giving the company a technological edge. With research centers across the globe in uh, China, Germany, the US, the UK, NEO's well positioned to del continue delivering cutting edge EVs. This global R&D network mirrors Apple's approach to uh, innovation, constantly pushing the envelope to stay ahead of the competition, just like Apple does with its continuous advancements in uh, end user devices like the iPads, the, the Macs, the iPhone, of course. Number two, let's talk about Navigate on Pilot or NLP, Neo's Autonomous Driving as a Service or ADAS. Imagine a driving experience where your car is equipped with 33 high performance sensing units and supercomputing of over a thousand tops. Well, the ET7 promises just that. Safety and user experience are at the forefront with NLP offering a more performant and smoother driving style compared to other systems. Neo's NLP benefits over time from over-the-air upgrades, much like iOS. Their updates continually enhancing the features and functionality of iOS hardware. These over-the-air upgrades allow Neo to constantly improve the car's autonomous driving capabilities, add new features, enhance safety protocols, and optimize performance without needing any physical modification. This approach of using software only to continuously improve the entire car, we're not just talking about the media in the car, we're talking about actually the entire car, this is something that's been a cornerstone of Apple's success. Constantly using software to improve the hardware performance, ensuring that the device stays well and relevant long after its initial release. In the same way, Neo's over-the-air updates make the car better over time. Number three is battery as a service. One of Neo's most innovative offerings is their battery as a service model. This allows customers to subscribe to the battery owner as a as an ownership model significantly reducing the cost of the upfront cost of getting into a neo vehicle basically it lowers the barrier uh, of entry for ev ownership with iphones there's many people who are on programs like sprint used to have um iphone forever where you don't really own the phone but you're kind of leasing the phone and you get to move on to the next phone uh when it comes out anyways with an ample amount of users on board we're talking 
over 100,000 users on board of battery as a service. It not only reduces cost, but also extends battery life through precise management and big data. Recently, NEO introduced a 15 year long life battery, pushing the envelope in what's possible in battery technology. The subscription based bottle is a clever strategy. Like we said, um, a lot of these cell phone, cell phone service providers, they do leases when it comes to phones so that people can always have the newest model. But Apple also has a bunch of services that lock the user into the ecosystem like iCloud. It's continuous value add, ensuring that they remain loyal customers. Number four, let's talk about Neo Power. This is a big one, so make sure you're listening. Let's address a critical concern for EV owners range anxiety. Neo Power aims to eliminate this with a suite of services. Whether it's power swap stations, battery swapping, mobile charging vans, or home chargers, Neo ensures that you never go without power. One-click power service on the Neo app is like having a 24-7 concierge for your car's power needs. As of now, Neo has 2,000 uh, 516 swap stations, and they've completed 44 million battery swaps. This extensive network and user-centric approach are very much in line with Apple's Genius Bar. This is how Apple supports their customers. They have an extensive customer service network, ensuring a seamless experience for all their users. Let's talk about battery swapping now. Battery swapping is a technology that's seen its fair share of challenges, but it looks like Neo has cracked the code. Unlike previous companies, Neo's built a unique power grid to power their initiatives. I don't I didn't mean to say power twice, but whatever. Their success in battery swapping is a viable testament to their innovative spirit of persistence, qualities that Apple has shown with its own product line, especially in its transition from Intel to their M1 and M2 chips. These new chips revolutionize performance and efficiency for Apple. Now let's talk about Neo House, an offline channel that fosters a community of Neo users. These aren't just showrooms, they're clubhouses where Neo users, their families, and friends can interact and gather. With areas like cafe, library, and living room, Neo houses create a space where users can interact and engage with each other. This sense of community is similar to the Apple Store, which are certainly more than retail outlets. These are places where users can learn, connect, and immerse themselves in Apple's brand. Apple's stores have become community hubs where users can get hands-on with products, attend workshops, and get support building strong brand loyalty. Finally, let's explore Neo Life, Neo's lifestyle brand. From apparel to home goods, Neo collaborates with hundreds of designers to reuse and reshape vehicle scrap into working product. This initiative not only extends the Neo brand beyond the cars, but it also is on brand with their initiatives of sustainability and innovation. It's a holistic approach to branding that mirrors Apple's seamless integration of hardware, software, and services. Just as Apple has expanded into wearable services and even original content, Yale's extending its brand into various lifestyle areas, creating a comprehensive ecosystem. So is Neo the Apple of EVs in many ways? Yes, both companies have built ecosystems that go far beyond their core product. They've created communities, fostered innovation, and delivered exceptional user experiences. For Neo, this means a future where driving is just one part of a broader lifestyle. As Neo continues to grow and evolve, we're optimistic as we imagine or try to imagine what's next. Before we wrap up, let's consider the broader implications of both ecosystems. Much like Apple's Swift programming language, which structures the labor of third-party developers and integrates them into the Apple ecosystem, Neo's approach is a strategic maneuver aimed at maximizing value and fostering a loyal fan base. These ecosystems are complex assemblages of both technology, labor, and power shaping our everyday experiences in profound ways. Anyways, thank you for joining me on this deep dive into Neo's uh, ecosystem. A little bit of fun here as we got to compare it to Apple. I hope you're excited as I am about Neo and their future to revolutionize the EV market. That's going to be it for this installment. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. We're trying to get to 10K subscribers before the year is over. If you can help us out with that, we'd be ever so grateful. Click the notification bell icon and leave a comment down below. We'll see you in the next installment. Have a good weekend. Thanks for watching.